Hey guys, it's John P with Geek Beat. Guess what? We got the brand new Canon XA25. I'm really excited. We've been waiting, I guess, for a month for this thing. I've pre ordered it. This is a brand new camera that just came out. The big deal about this camera is it has an SDI output. Now, most people don't care about that, but for professional video kinds of recording situations, you care. And we care because the SDI uh, output would go straight into our TriCaster, which is what we use for a lot of live show coverage. So we may be ordering a bunch of these. Now, the bad news is they're expensive, 2700 bucks at B&H, um, if they even have them in stock, because like I said, this was pre-ordered and we just got one of the first ones. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it, show you guys that, then Ken and I are going to take it, play with it, do a full review. We'll come back to you with a video about this camera's capabilities. And then if we like it, we'll buy a few more and we'll start using it here in our actual studio. So let's take a look. It's the Canon XA25. It comes in a rather squarish box. And we will open it up. Okay, we get the kind of semi-standard... Uh, Canon internal packaging here. This is a giant uh, book like they, they always have these big big books with their stuff But it's actually useful because I do I do stick those on the shelf and we go through them later Okay, we got a lot of little accessories in here. Let's pull those out first So first things first we're gonna have a USB. I'm sorry a uh, HDMI cable it's mini to full-size HDMI we have part of a power adapter. Um, I always like to look and see what kind of plugs these power cables come with. This is, oh, okay. This is one of these little kind, uh, this is a standard power plug for cannons. And in fact, let's take a look at the other part of that adapter. Huh, how about that? You know what? This is identical, look over here. This is identical, this is this is a little um, older generation Canon HFS20, and you'll notice this is like the exact same power adapter. So that, that's good because it means um, it's interchangeable with our other power adapters. Let's see the battery. And good news here, the battery is also the same as the previous generation little um, Canon camcorders. So we get a remote control which could be useful if you were working this thing all by yourself and you wanted to start and stop it remotely. Interesting, we're gonna get a little um, lens hood. Uh, oh, wow, that's got a little door that just flips up and down, I guess. I don't know how that's gonna work when we get it on, but what else do we have here? Ah, this is, this is so now as I was saying, this is kind of a higher end camera okay the other camera that we just looked at is just a kind of consumer model it's got a built-in microphone but this camera is going to have a mount for a shotgun mic and some other stuff too let's finish out these cables we've got a USB cable and we get a component composite. I'm sorry composite uh, video cable to plug things into it we've got a couple of screws or bolts we've got a battery We've got a magnet for the power thingy. Ah, and here's the other special part, bolt-on accessory. This is going to have, this is going to give us a handle on top and two XLR microphone inputs. Now this is a big deal, plus full controls for both of those channels. Now if we look at the little Vixia over there, it's got a single 3.5 millimeter input jack, which you can use for just about any kind of microphone, but only one microphone. So that means, for example, if Callie and I both want to be on screen together, we have to use some kind of an external device like a Juice Link or a, what's the other one called? Beach Tech. A Beach Tech. Um, and, and then we have to take that extra device to get both microphones in. This is the actual camera. The XA25. Oh man, that is a good look. It's a little bigger. Uh, let me just grab, let's pull this other one off uh, for comparison's sake. Let's see here. 
We've got our tally light connected to the top of this too. Uh, actually, I'll pull it off this one. There we go. So let's check out the size differential. Um, this one's got a little plate on it, but it's about the same height. They use the same size uh, lens ring adapter, 58 millimeter rings on each one, which means any accessories we bought for this, like a wide angle, we can use on this one. Now this one also has a focus ring here, which this one does not have. Um, from the top, you can see the, the new one's a little fatter. I don't know why. That's what she said. And let's see what the sizes of the screens are going to be. Let's see here. They're, I'd say they're the same, same size. Probably uh, a higher resolution. Is that a standard shoe on there? It is, let's see. Oh, wow. Um, yes. Is that, yeah, this one has, that's a big deal. This one has a standard hot shoe, and this one has their funky uh, Canon hot shoe thing going on here. So now let's see how this goes on here. Looks like we're going to slide this into the hot shoe adapter and there's some pins here that are going to plug into this little port. So I'll put that on there. Don't want to break it straight out of the box. Now uh, we got to kind of lift these pins up to get that to slide in. There we go. That's in. And then we're going to screw these down. Okay. And now we've got a handle. So then we've got the little ring uh, adapter here. We'll put that on. Okay. And now we can see how this opens. It's got an open and close mechanism here. That's nice. Keep some dust off the uh, lens when you're using it and also provide shade. Uh, so I really, really like the size of it. And then I suppose this piece for our shotgun mic can be attached or unattached with these screws. So that's, uh, that's the new XA25, you guys. We will put out a full review with all the details, everything it can do. And we'll give you some sample footage, some high quality sample footage from it. And we'll see how it compares to the older, more consumer oriented line. So you guys stay tuned for that. How about a thumbs up for this particular video on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash And that's it for now. We're out of here. Bye-bye.